Mary Tyler Moore. Mary Tyler Moore dazzled us with her dancing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Made us keel over in laughter. I usually look so much better than this. Mary and Tyler like the song Moore. says, you can turn turned the whole world on with her smile. Mary Tyler Moore was without question one of the most influential actresses in television history. All you needed to say was one word, Mary. Everybody knew what you were talking about. She ripped up the television comedy rule book and rewrote the chapter on women. I, I'm upset, and, and you're, you're just ignoring it. Well, I figured it was just one of those woman things. No, Mr. Brand, it's not. She was actually one of the first to portray a modern woman on television. She reaches right out through the television set and says, yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> I think Mary Tyler Moore has probably had more influence on my career than any other single person or force. She was the first character to make people laugh by being good at her job. Lucille Ball made us laugh by being bad when she was trying to work. Speed it up, <laughs> Mary Richards made you laugh by handling the egos and the insecurities of all the guys she worked with. Read it. <laughs> all right. Out loud! But to understand just how Mary was able to make it after all, you have to rewind to Brooklyn in the 1930s, where right from the start, Mary set herself apart from the rest. And I was born in Brooklyn, and when you're from Brooklyn, you're supposed to talk like you're from Brooklyn, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, my family had no money, but they did both major in English in college, and they taught me how to speak correctly. Her early life is a difficult one, with an alcoholic mother and a distant father. For solace, young Mary turns to dancing, working hard at limbering up the legs that would one day carry her to Hollywood. My grandfather once said of me, having watched me prancing and leaping, this child will either end up on stage or in jail. When her family decides to go west, moving to California, nine-year-old Mary is the first one out the door. I knew I would be discovered in Hollywood. I mean, it wasn't likely to happen in Brooklyn. At 18, in an act of rebellion, Mary marries her first husband, a salesman nearly 10 years her senior. She would later explain why to Barbara Walters. Why don't you get married so young? Well, you know, I don't want to denigrate my parents, but I was going through um, a stage at about 16, 17, 18, where I didn't like them very much, and I really wanted to be independent. I didn't want to be told what to do. Every day in 1955, Mary breaks into show business. I'm happy hot point. As a dancing pixie, but hot point appliances goes cold on Mary after she gets pregnant. There I was, not looking very much like uh, the logo they had in mind. After the birth of son Richie, she turns to acting. And though it may have started slow with bit roles on television, she told our Diane Sawyer in 1993 it was her only option. You really think that you would have gone in some completely different trajectory? If I hadn't Dancing become an go -go actress, club or... I think I probably would have been homeless. I really don't think there's very much else in life I was prepared to do. But I was disciplined. That discipline would carry Mary to her big break. In 1961, she is called into audition for the I'm Dick Van Dyke Show. Reading. Legendary comedian Carl Reiner was the show's creator. And she said the first line, and I heard the sound in a voice, a ping in a voice. My hand became the claw in that machine that picks out candy in the, at the <laughs> arcades. I walked across the room. In the middle of the scene, he put his hand on my head sitting in a chair across from him and said, get up. I got up and he steered me down the hall to Sheldon Leonard's office. And I said, Sheldon, I got her. The Dick Van Dyke Show. But her on-screen husband, Dick Van Dyke, isn't as sure. She was 23 when she came on the show and had never done any comedy. I knew I was in with a bunch of black belts in comedy, and I had no real experience at it. Even if Mary herself was a little unsure, America wasn't. It fell in love with her portrayal of the feisty and funny Honey. housewife, Laura Petrie. Are you uh, angry with me for something? What makes you think that? She just got it so quickly that I I'm still fascinated by how fast she grew on that show. 
But as her career takes off, Mary's personal life stumbles when her first marriage fails. She turns to Carl Reiner for support. I was her father figure because her father was a non-communicative man who didn't know how to talk to her. She was 16 years old before he ever gave her a compliment, and she was going to her prom with a prom dress, and he looked at her, he says, Mary, you look very handsome. That was the only compliment he ever got. Imagine a beauty like that, getting that as your only compliment. On the show, Reiner encourages Mary to bring parts of herself to the role. The big objection was the pants that I wore. I had uh, seen too many housewives on television who were vacuuming in high heels and a floral printed frock. And I said, wait a minute, that's, that's not the way it really is. I wanted to represent something of me, and I was married and a, a mother and wore pants. Oh, Rob. And that familiar line would become her catchphrase. Oh, Rob. Oh, Rob. Oh, Rob. Just two oh, Rob. words Beautiful. that could say so much. People were, were saying that, even if their husbands weren't Rob. Oh, Rob. I look great here. As her confidence grows, Mary found both popular success and critical acclaim. The winner in Hollywood is Mary Tyler Moore. For the Winning her first two Emmy Awards for the show. But far more gratifying for her personally was the respect of one particular peer. Gee, I'm glad you're home. How's about a great big... I'll see you later. <laughs> Lucille Ball was our landlady at that point. She owned Desi Lou, and uh, we'd be rehearsing on the set, and then we'd hear a, a laugh. We looked up, and there she was on the catwalk, and she'd be up there watching us. And I will never forget one day she uh, sort of walked out of the studio and then came back and came up to me and she said, you're very good, and then walked on. And that was, that was the greatest gift I ever received in this business. The Dick Van Dyke Show ran for five seasons before going off the air in 1966. It was the end of a family the family that I never felt comfortable with as a child, I suddenly felt at home with this bunch of people. And by now, Mary had married a second time to an advertising executive named Grant Tinker. Together, the couple was about to transform the TV landscape. 